Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I'm continuing my series Photoshop for the Lightroom user and in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how you could use Photoshop to remove unwanted items from an image. For those of you not familiar with this series, it is meant for those of you that are Lightroom only users, but subscribe to the Creative Cloud package, which includes Photoshop. And I want to show you things that you could do in Photoshop that are more effective, yet very easy to do. Really, anyone could do them. And today, I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted things from an image. I have this image here in Lightroom. I did some Lightroom processing on it, but I don't like these branches up at the top. See, there's some on the top left and some on the top right. Now I could use Lightroom's spot removal tool, but Photoshop is much more effective and more realistic because it has content aware tools, which could deal with these branches a lot more effectively than Lightroom can. So I'm going to take this image and send it over into Photoshop to do that. Now, to do that, you could right click right on the image and go to edit in. But one thing I wanna mention, there's a keyboard shortcut that just makes it a lot easier than right clicking and going and using that menu. If you have a Mac, hit Command E. If you have a PC, hit Control E. And when you do, if you're working with a raw file, it will take that raw file and immediately open it up into Photoshop. If you're working on anything other than a raw file, a little dialog box will come up. It's the same dialog box that is seen when you're sending an image into a plugin. So you could send a copy, a copy with Lightroom adjustments or the original image, and you could choose whether you want to send a TIFF, a PSD, or a JPEG, color space. You're familiar with that dialog box. Well, because this was a raw file, it opens up directly into Photoshop. Now I mentioned we want to get rid of these branches. So what I'm going to do, I need to get a selection of those branches. So I'm going to use the lasso tool. So over here in the uh, tool well, the third tool from the top is the lasso tool. Now you may be tempted to just kind of draw like completely around, let's say these branches on the left. But one, if you do it that way, it won't work as well is if you um, draw those branches around each of those branches individually. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna get rid of these marching ants by hitting Command D on my Mac, it's Control D on the PC. Now we kind of have like three or four little groups of branches here. So I'm gonna take this little group right here. So I'm just gonna draw around this little group like that. Now I have marching ants around that little group. Now I wanna draw this around this group in the middle I want to add it. If I just draw right now, what it will do is it will remove the selection from that first group. Don't want that. So what you do is uh, start out with the first group in this case, then move on to your next group, but hold the shift key in when you draw. This will allow you to add to the existing selection. So just try to stay as close to the branches as you can. You don't have to go like way in between these branches. I didn't do such a good job there. Let me, let me, let me start over because trying to talk and do this is difficult. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're gonna do it. So there's one, hold the shift key in and then come in here and try to do this one without screwing up. All right, now I have two selected. Now hold the shift key in and do this group. and hold the shift key in and do this last one over here. Now I might as well do the ones on the right while I'm at it. Uh, so I'm gonna hold that shift key in and do this one at the top and hold the shift key in and do the one below that. All right, now I have them all selected. You can see there's all individual selections for each of those groups of branches. Now I want to use Content Aware Fill to fill those areas in with something in the image that is similar so it looks like it's natural. 
To do that, we're going to go up to Edit and then down to Content Aware Fill. What will happen is it will take the image and open it up into this Content Aware dialog box. Over on the right hand side, you uh, should be most concerned with this part, second group from the bottom. So this top group, you don't really have to worry about for this. Go down to Sample Area Options. I'm in Auto, and what it does is you can see the parts in green. That's what it's looking at to put in those areas that I drew. And if you look over at the preview, you could see it got rid of all the branches. So you could use this preview over on the right-hand side to get an idea of what it's going to look like using these auto areas that as selected. Now you have the option to like pick a rectangular area or pick a custom area, which opens up some brush tools on the left. And then you would brush on the image and tell it, use these areas where I'm brushing to, uh, you, to derive what will be put in these places where my selections are. Most often though, I think you'll find that auto will work best. So if you look at the preview, it looks pretty good. So we're just gonna click okay. And what it will do is it will open back here. And now you see we still have our selection, but the branches are gone. To get rid of the selection, hit Command or Control D on your computer. Now you can see the branches are gone. And I think you'll agree, those of you that are familiar with the spot removal tool in Lightroom, this is a lot more effective. You can see it looks perfectly natural. Now I wanna do one more thing. If you look over here, there's, if you look closely, it actually looks like a branch in the water that is just breaking the water surface. And there's kind of like something there that's kind of distracting to me. So I want to get rid of that too. I'm going to use a different tool than that. I'm going to go over here in the tool well, and this tool right here, this is the spot healing brush tool. And you can see it has a keyboard shortcut of J. So I'm going to pick that one and I'll, the bracket keys affect the brush size. So the right bracket key makes it larger, left bracket key smaller. And this is similar to the spot removal tool in Lightroom in that you just paint over what you want to remove. In this case, I want to remove this. So I'm just going to paint over it. But unlike the Lightroom spot removal tool, this is automatic. You just let go and it got rid of it. There's not like an overlay that you move around or anything like that. So I just got rid of that. I'm done. I used Photoshop to get rid of those branches and it looks pretty good. I'm going to close down Photoshop now. Now you're going, well, why don't you save it? Well, this is the way I do it. You could save it, but I just hit on my Mac, Command Q. On a PC, you could just go up and close it. And then when you do, it's going, hey, wait, save it. Yeah, no, yeah, I'll save it. So I'll click save. And then what it will do is it will then open up in Lightroom. And you could see in the lower left-hand uh, corner, there's a progress bar for the save option. So it takes a little while to save. And once it does, it will open up in Lightroom and we'll have two images. We'll have the original image with, that's the original raw file with the branches in it. And then I'll have this image. Let me go to the film strip. I'll hit F6 on my keyboard and open up the film strip. And here's the original raw file. And you can see it's a Nikon raw file. And then here is the image that we just edited in Photoshop. And you can see that's a TIFF file. Now you may have a PSD file instead of a TIFF file because in Lightroom um, preferences, you could tell it whether to send a TIFF or a PSD. Um, I'll show you that real quick. On a PC, um, preferences is under the edit menu. On a Mac, it's under the Lightroom classic menu. And in preferences, external editing, it's the third tab from the left at the very top edit in Adobe Photoshop 2022 in this case, what file format you're gonna have the choice of TIFF or PSD. I prefer TIFF, some people prefer PSD, uh, color space, pro photo RGB, 16 bits per component. Resolution, doesn't really matter that much, tell you the truth, people overstate resolutions value. Uh, but Epson, if you sh uh, use Epson printers, Epson recommends that you use a 360 resolution throughout your workflow. So that's why I have 360 there and no compression. So that's why I have a TIFF file uh, after we edited this in Photoshop. You may have a PSD and then, like I mentioned, it really doesn't matter. Um, but that's it. And I think you'll agree that it's a lot more effective doing this 
in Photoshop because if you're doing it in Lightroom with the spot removal tool, you'd have to draw and then push the little um, overlay around to try to find an area that looks natural. Whereas with Photoshop, it's content aware and it kind of fills in uh, that those areas we selected, um, allowing it to look more natural. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>